folks, it's me again, and this time I'm going to give you another rant and rave. This time just about something that I saw in the paper today, but which has uh, amused me for years. And that is my opinion that wine is basically plonk, and there's a bunch of wankers out there who seem to make a lot of noise about stating things about wine that in my view is an absolute load of nonsense. And the thing that brought this up today was just a couple of articles, of course, in the, in the Age, that great rag. And I will read to you, this is an $80 bottle of wine. Uh, this wine is a squeaky clean in a new world manner. Squeaky clean in a new world manner. While still carrying the earthy, savoury characters of Top Chianti. It has great presence. Great presence. I wonder what on earth that means and an enchanting interplay of acid and tannin carries the finish. Now that's actually not too bad. The next one, however, says that this wine has a tight nervy acidity, a tight nervy acidity, beyond me, which comes from the succulent fresh fruit flavour to a scintillating finale. It has delicious flavours of lemongrass, lemon gelato, and white nectarines, not your ordinary nectarines, white nectarines, and they complete the finish. Have you ever heard so much rubbish in all your life? You've only got to pick up the papers to see that there's plenty of articles with wankers uh, carrying on about all of the detailed taste that they can get in the wine, whether it's blackberry or whatever it might be. Wine is basically plonk. You can't, in all honesty, come up with a bottle of wine that's worth 80 bucks. It, nothing is worth 80 bucks if it's a bottle of wine, believe me. After you've had the first glass, in any case, it doesn't matter. Um, if you do a quick little search on the web for wine appreciation scams, wine appreciation rubbish and other things, you'll find plenty of stuff out there, but I'd like just to read to you briefly a small report of a test that was done in 2001 by a guy from the University of Bordeaux. And he did two separate and quite mischievous experiments. In the first test, he invited 57 wine experts and asked them to give them their impression of what looked like two glasses of red and white wine. The wines were actually the same wine. They were white wines, one of which had been tinted red, using food colouring. Now, that did not stop these 57 experts from describing the so-called red wine in language typically used to describe red wine. One expert praised its jamminess, while another enjoyed its crushed red fruit. Not one, not one of the 57 noticed it was actually a white wine. The second test was even more damning. Uh, he took uh, an average Bordeaux, a middling Bordeaux, and served it in two different bottles. One bottle was a very fancy cr a Grand Cru bottle. The other bottle was an ordinary uh, Vendue du Table bottle. Despite the fact that the wines were actually being served, it was the exact same wine, the experts gave the differently labelled bottles nearly opposite ratings. These are the experts. The Grand Cru, the wine that came out of a fancy bottle, was agreeable, woody, complex, balanced and rounded, while a Vin du Table wine, the same wine, was weak, short, light, flat and faulty. Forty experts said that the wine with the fancy label was worth drinking, while only twelve said that the wine in the cheap bottle was. Come on, you guys. It's a marketing ploy. It's putting out to people who sort of uh, like to feel superior or whatever it is. Wine is essentially plonk. Don't pay more than a couple of bottles. A couple of bottles. <laughs> Don't pay more than a couple of dollars for a glass of wine. Just enjoy it for what it is and don't put up with all of this nonsense and rubbish that you hear from the wine critics. Uh, I suppose it's a bit of fun, but don't take it at all seriously. And that's my rant for today. I'll get back to you soon. Bye for now.